Hello and welcome to another edition of Beer Dad's Beer Reviews. Come to the third beer in the Vocation Battle Age release in the middle of October. There was four beers. I am the Affogato, there was the Chili Stout which I did yesterday, and there is this one which is, which is what we're going to do today, which is Madeira Imperial Stout. Put that there. Now there's one more which is this one and this is um Cash of Death and it's red wine battle aged. We're gonna do that one tomorrow. So we're gonna focus on this one. Let's read get the spare out and see what it says. It is a 12.3% ABV beer, and the best before this one is 11th of October 26. So 12.3 there. 11th of October, just above the barcode. Um, it says, the torch is lights terrible. I do apologise. It says, a rich and smooth imperial stout brewed with eight specially selected malts and Moscovado before spending 15 months resting on fresh filled Madeira casks. I expect Expect a bittersweet dark chocolate, intense caramel and a hint of oak, rounded out with notes of black cherry, blueberry and sweet fig, resulting in a perfect blend of a robust and warming winter stout, a dessert wine, more akin to a summer summer eve. That's what it says on the back. Looking forward to this one. Um, since this box arrived, um, I've kind of got, yeah, this is the one I want to. Get stuck into and really really want to taste it so really really i really need to get some more superlatives really really it's just terrible right there is the cap let's pop it off let's see what we've got oh, oh. hello there we go let's get into a glass let's pour myself a third There we go. So, beer in a glass, what have we got? That is a jet black beer. Again, not going to put the, the, the uh, torch to it. Um, we've got ourselves just under a finger of light tanned head. There's loads of stuff coming off this. Let's get the nose so we can smell. Oh, wow. Battle comes through. Yeah, we're getting coffee. Roasted malt. There's a fruitiness to it. There is a fruitiness to it. I would say it's fake, but there's a fruitiness to it. Yeah. Yeah, there, there, it, there, there is a fruitiness to it. There's definitely fruitiness to it. But if it didn't say blueberries and figs, you know. It'd say toffee, caramel, dark chocolate, roasted malt. Smells really good. It really does. Right, let's go for the punching carbonation. Cheers. <laughs> that is <laughs> that's really good. Really good. Oh stop saying really David. Um that's superb. Sublime. Um body is medium, slick, velvety, oily, beautiful, covers your palate really well. Um, carbonation is nice and soft. Um, just kind of just gives you a little, it's a little gives the gives the, the flavours a little bit of a push around inside your mouth, but it is lovely. It's not as rich as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be this is going to be pretty. Uh, Pretty thick and heavy and intense, and it's not. <laughs> right, let's go for the big old taste. Cheers. That's fabulous. That is fabulous. <laughs> I 
you get bitter dark chocolate that is then balanced out with a vanilla caramel toffee kind of sensation I can see where they're coming from with the fruit with the is it was it blueberries and blackberries or something blueberries and figs but I don't that's wrong here stupid ass black cherry blueberry and sweet fig I kind of get where they're going with it um when you have well, whether you do I know I said you know, I, have, I have blueberries quite a bit full of antioxidants really good for you um the aftertaste of blueberry I kind of picked that up in this um there is a there is a sweet ripe look excuse me fruitiness to it but it balances and it works with the, with the caramel the to caramel toffee and the bitter chocolate um it is a earthy woody undertone to it which is beautiful this is excellent it really is excellent it smells boozy but doesn't taste boozy um which i think is really good they've hidden the alcohol on the taste really really well for me it's there but it's not at 12 percent you, you think that's, that's really hard that you're gonna get a big punch of alcohol you don't really I've got a little bit of a warm feeling here, which I quite I find quite pleasant. I've got a little bit of heat here and here, which again I find quite pleasant. Um, this is just delicious. It really is delicious. It's the best of the three, by a mile, by a country mile. Right. So this is Vocations Madeira Imperial Stouts coming in at a whopping twelve point three percent ABV. It's a perfect for a winter evening, it really is. It's proper warming. Um, again, like the affogato, it's a dessert beer. I would have this after a big hefty dinner. Instead of having a dessert, I'd go for one of these and just, it's, it's beautiful. Um, yeah, I like this a lot. This is one of the best things they've done in a long time. So if you've had this beer, um, please let me know what you think. Please put a little comment in the comments box below. I'll put the vocation website um, link in the description box down there this is on sale at the time we record this video it's round about about six pound 75 a bottle um but it's 12 percent it's a bottle of wine at the end of the day um is it worth it yeah it is so do i like it yes would i buy it again yes would I recommend to friends yes um if you are thinking of getting this series of beers um I got the, this, the pack, six of the uh, two Madeira, two Affogato and two Chili. They're about 35 quid. It saves you probably about five pounds, to be fair. But you're getting stung on that, on the delivery charge. Um, so I've only got this left to do, the Kirsch of Death Red Wine Battle Age. That's going to be, I think that's going to be really good. Anyway, if you like the video, if you don't, subscribe to that bottom corner and I will see you on the next one. Stay alert, stay safe, drink good beer. Hey, Leon.